Okay. Um, okay, I start first lah dengan um, my intro. Yeah. Okay. Um, welcome guys. This is Zafran from The Void. Joining me today is Fatih Nur Ain. Hi everyone. Hello Fatih. So how are you today? Yeah, I'm good. Puasa ke tu? Uh, puasa. Puasa Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> You must have it. Oh my god, it's censored. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tadi cakap, okay, okay. It's, it's uh, personal, kan? Okay lah, um, okay. To those who's listening, um, welcome back. Um, For today's topic, we're going to talk about shyness. Uh, perasaan malu. Uh, I hampir cakap kemaluan tadi, my goodness. Oh my god, please censor that word. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, um. Okay, um, to start off, what is shyness? Okay, um, kalau kita tengok dekat internet, uh, the definition of shyness is the tendency to feel awkward, worried or tense during social encounters, especially with unfamiliar people. Mm-mm. Okay, kalau macam tu, mm, we ourselves pun rasa shyness. The reason why I bought uh, this episode because lately ni lah, say, ever since MCO and stuff, Um, people macam notice that my apa ni the way I talk macam macam malu-malu sikit so like no, never yeah. tu ada kat situ kalau yeah, for you kan Fatin eh um, what makes you shy hmm sekarang ni podcasting dengan you pun I rasa malu <laughs> I mean <laughs> yeah haa uh. I mean, betul yeah. juga lah kot Because kalau when I notice it lah Macam every time I want to try on my podcast uh, When I talk to myself Rasa malu betul I tak tahu if, if it's malu to myself Or malu talking to the mic Because yeah, we have people I... macam malu dekat camera kan Mm-mm, Betul Macam I, I jenis yang malu Even depan camera I malu Malu nak keluarkan suara I sendiri pun I malu sebab I macam Sometimes I rasa macam segan And takut kalau orang judge My voice macam tak sedap Suara diri ni sebenarnya macam tu <laughs> Betul lah ha? mungkin sebab tu lah kot We have we, we have that Macam uh, Subconscious Mindset yang oh Setiap kali bercakap je mesti orang akan macam tak sedap kan suara dia kan Tapi sebenarnya Macam annoy uh, uh, Macam annoy Tapi sebenarnya kita just Awkward dengan diri sendiri kan Ya yeah, betul ke Even sometimes pun Even kalau try podcast sendiri pun Rasa cringe Macam <laughs> you know You listen balik kan You punya recording kan Macam hmm, Cringe ni suara sendiri <laughs> oh, oh, Betul <laughs> oh, oh, Kenapa kan okay, oh. That's the question Kita yang kita nak tahu Kita nak decipher Kenapa kita rasa malu? Tapi macam yeah. kalau you kalau kita perasan nak you and I kalau talking to the phone atau talking face to face there's no problem kan? Uh, sebab yeah. macam I think face to face interaction shyness tu dah tak ada dah. Uh, unless mm-hmm. macam first time kenal then of kita rasa malu sebab jelas nak jaga hati orang ni sebab kita tak tahu dia macam mana boundaries so, uh, nak ice yeah. breaking so shyness tu biasa. Tapi yeah, but... kenapa kita kenal pun macam ni hmm. kan, intens nak cakap dalam podcast pun malu lah, kenapa? I don't know, maybe sebab this is like macam benda yang baru untuk kita cuba Kan, sometimes benda baru pun boleh buat kita rasa malu And, tapi macam mana walaupun benda yang baru ni Benda baru-baru macam ni lah sebenarnya ajar kita tau Ajar kita untuk macam kurangkan rasa malu and kita biasakan diri kita untuk cakap Ah betul. Ha ah. Betul. Betul. Okay. Ha ah sebab uh, bila malu tu biasanya sebab benda baru kita macam takut. So dia sinonim ah. lah rasa malu dan takut ni memang macam cakap they go go well together. Ha ah ya betul. So to you kan uh, masa okay uh, let's let's talk about experience eh. Uh, for you masa buat podcast ni malu tu macam mana? Ya Allah, malu dia sumpah macam yang kalau boleh fikir balik lah kan berapa kali recording sebab malu dengan diri sendiri punya suara lepas tu end up dia macam akan banyak gila benda yang salah tau dia macam tak boleh nak random 
macam terlalu berjaga-jaga and then at the same time akanlah ada terkeluar shaky voice ke macam mana ke sebab perasaan malu tu sendiri betul macam tu tau so macam adakah adakah <laughs> adakah itu menjawab pesawat alain awak <laughs> mungkin lah mungkin because macam I don't know it's 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 new to me lah because um uh, okay it's it's because of this actually the reason why I put podcast on shyness is because I got a friend with me yesterday and I I shared her with I shared her my first episode of podcast and she said um Zaf can I say something and I said yeah lay it on me and she said you kalau bercakap nampak sangat boleh dengar sangat rasa nervous tu awkward tu but when we talk in person you never actually talk like that uh, so macam dari situ dia tegur I lah yang uh, kenapa nak rasa malu kan I think uh, it, itu yang rasa macam tertanya-tanya lah betul juga bila yeah, kita cakap betul. sebab kita malu mungkin sebab benda dia baru lagi kat kita kita macam mm, nak overcome the future the, the consequences the possibility of what people might say to our podcast kan so if we talking face to face straight away orang cakap kat kita kan macam eh you to me kan so kalau podcast ni orang lain dengar dia dah ada macam benda lain lah ada set of uh, macam mana cakap moral aku bukan moral dia macam macam mana cakap bukan kutuk kan but mindset lah mostly mindset what orang akan fikir kita kan Betul, tapi dalam masa yang sama benda tu macam You know sebab ni, ni macam nak build up self esteem kita tau mm-hmm. Kan betul tak? Macam bila dengan macam teguran-teguran tu lah yang buat macam kita try to overcome from time to time Walaupun tak perfect and directly macam immediately kita betulkan jadi macam like mm, Hari ni tegur, esok terus perfect <laughs> macam, Ay, macam okay, take nafas Okay, boleh, boleh, boleh Yelah tu Betul-betul, make sense Sebabnya, for me dia macam related to self-esteem juga Macam, orang selalu macam cakap macam be confident And try je apa yang you rasa macam You selesa nak buat hmm. Macam tapi dalam masa yang sama kita ada rasa takut Sebab benda tu baru Kita macam fikir boleh ke aku buat benda ni sebenarnya? Boleh ke sebenarnya aku macam go to this platform fact macam mana orang lain buat? Hmm. Macam tu tau. Betul. Betul. Sebab semua benda baru yang kita buat pun akan ada teguran-teguran for the improvement. Kan? Betul. Mesti ada je sebenarnya. Kita orang oh, uh, open to uh, all sorts of criticisms kan from other people. Even, okay, funny thing is, even right now, my hands are shaking kalau cakap Ya yeah, betul, dia macam okay. dari tadi macam my whole body pun macam bergerak-gerak okay. duduk tadi Macam apa yang perlu nervous ni? Apa yang perlu rasa malu ni? My goodness Ya yeah, doh, I hope from time to time kita akan boleh apa overcome this kind of feeling yang boleh cakap secara selesa uh-huh, Betul, uh-huh. not just like not just talking kan, macam like talking in front of a in front of a mic, talking in front of a camera I mean, kita MassCom students kan macam mana camera tu, it's yeah. like the first thing that you're going to see in your life so hmm, so if you're nervous like like us to to those who's listening macam hmm, what's the point eh? so in a way, this podcast really helps me and Fatin lah in a way that it overcomes our fears toward being awkward, nervous and shy So, yeah, betul. Okay, to you kan. Um, what are the tactics that you use to to be or to overcome your shyness? What is the tactics? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't know because I I tak pernah jumpa lagi tactics yang untuk hilangkan rasa malu untuk semua benda yang I buat sekarang ni. <laughs> to be honest like macam okay, kita macam okay boleh lagi cuba, boleh lagi cuba but every time cuba bila benda tu depan mata still rasa takut tu ada I rasa macam one of tactics I kena buang dulu rasa takut dan rasa tak yakin I kena build my confident levels untuk berdepan dengan benda-benda macam ni untuk hilangkan rasa malu hmm. Sometimes macam I rasa macam adore juga tau dengan orang yang 
even dia orang pun bukannya sebenarnya mass comm student tapi dia orang macam ada confident level yang sangat tinggi yang you know dia orang macam ah buat je jadi buat je jadi ah dia orang macam tak perlu control kena cakap apa tak ada malu baik dia dia ada boundaries dia lah kan dia pandai cakap dia confident oh, but ah yeah. uh. yeah. mm. <laughs> Eh, 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 it's different lah Betul-betul Ya, yeah, benda tu macam Make sense tau sebenarnya macam Sebab kita rasa malu Eh, sebab kita rasa takut Jadi kita malu nak buat benda yang baru mm-hmm. Benda yang sama sebenarnya tau Betul. So macam nak cari taktik tu kena macam Kena selalu buat kot I rasa uh, Even benda yang selalu buat ni pun Macam kadang-kadang malu juga bila macam Kalau tersalah ke apa ke kan uh-huh. Hmm. So macam mana you pula What is your tactics untuk hilangkan rasa malu Sebab you, I rasa you lagi senang nak <laughs> Apa Hilangkan terus rasa malu tu uh, Okay, uh, kalau uh, Kalau for me kan uh, uh, I think I just notice this jugalah Yang if If I were to talk to people face to face Rasa malu tu memang cepat sangat lah I hilang, I macam put Put on a persona where okay Um, orang tak kenal I, I tak kenal orang tu We just going to talk And try to absorb each other's vibe Whatever, apa semua Get to know things What we like, what we say, how we talk So macam rasa malu tu Totally bertukar jadi something new Macam uh, something that is exciting I need to know about that people I need uh, macam, uh, I have to know about that people So macam uh, rasa malu ni datang bila macam you cakap lah, betul juga tu uh, benda-benda baru ni because I think satu, one thing is I feel comfortable dengan benda yang I dah lama buat bila buat benda baru, I rasa macam takut and malu macam nak macam mana nak execute dengan betul so kalau tapi uh-huh. macam tapi macam yang I perasan you punya curiosity tu yang buat you overcome you punya shyness Ah uh, yeah Is it correct? I think so too uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think because of uh, curiosity I pun I, I looking forward to buat something tu Macam macam podcast ni lah I, I, I tanam diri I cakap okay I, I need to do this because uh, To me it feels like an experiment Is it really making me shy to talk to people virtually or physically face to face? Or is it something else? And turns out sebenarnya um, All I need to is to make myself comfortable In this case, cakap in a podcast recording with a people Seems no no problem at all But it is a problem if I'm talking to myself uh, Macam tu yeah, That's the thing I try to go, to overcome Probably betul juga hmm. curiosity tu lah I kena cari What if kalau lah the podcast for this episode sebenarnya bukan dengan I Tapi dengan orang lain which is stranger Adakah Akan You rasa you akan <laughs> selancar <laughs> Selancar okay. ini uh, Macam I think uh, it's, I think it's different entirely lah um, This whole concept of being shy because Okay let's say if Okay it's the same thing kan uh, Tak kisahlah if it's you or I or you or me Um, if you want to talk to a stranger What will you do? Ha, but... <coughs> hmm, for me Sebab I, I jenis yang malu level dia yang Stranger yang kena approach I dulu I mean <laughs> I bukan sombong Tapi I malu nak cakap dengan orang <laughs> Tapi okay. bila dah cakap macam ni Dia macam tak boleh stop ha, okay. ha, That's the thing about us Macam hmm, Kita actually malu But then when we we know each other kita boleh je bercakap It's just why Why are we shy? Why are we so awkward to To other people To strangers? Diorang Ya yeah, <laughs> tapi kenapa Saat takut tu kena ada ah, kan? Yes. Like, macam Selalu macam maybe lah I dari macam I dari dulu Selalu macam ada This kind of perspective lah. Macam like Kalau kau terlalu confident pun Orang akan ingat kau gigi <laughs> So macam that kind of thoughts Yang macam buat I takut Ah okay Haa ah, itu yang macam hmm, Kan kalau aku Confident sangat kan ah, Orang ingat kan Dia ni ah, Betul ke tak Dia ni <laughs> ah, Kan macam hmm, Dia ni Over <laughs> sangat eh Okay ke So macam <laughs> Bila Macam Bila Bila kita go deeper Into this lah, Macam saya tanya Bila masa actually Nak rasa betul-betul malu eh? Bila masa nak buang Rasa malu tu 
Sebab Betul Macam to me no point sebenarnya Nak rasa malu ni Tapi kenapa ada Rasa malu tu Ya yeah, exactly Macam Tak maybe sebab Kita macam mana Kita kan hidup ni Kan kita macam jumpa dengan Various kind of people tau So orang ni tak semestinya sama pemikiran dia macam kita Mungkin ada orang ni jenis yang strict Macam eh budak ni kan Ha confidence ni tak aku dia tak tahu ke aku ni siapa ha? Macam itu dah macam ha? Kalau jenis yang jenis yang macam tu tak ke kang Tak pasal-pasal Kang gaduh ke apa ke kan tiba-tiba sebab Padahal kita approach dengan cara baik Sometimes Tapi macam mana macam To be honest macam dia ada pros and cons tau Macam bila Terlalu malu And terlalu tak malu ha, Macam terlebih confident Tak boleh juga sebenarnya uh, Di mana Kan uh, Make sense kan eh? Betul Because Okay uh, As we talk As we're talking To uh, To ourselves I buka laptop And Was wondering macam What makes us shy kan I think okay I, uh-huh. I ada nampak this Dia kata Nine things only shy people understand Okay uh, <laughs> Okay number one <laughs> <laughs> I'm a research dah macam What makes I shy? Oh my god oh. Apa yang nak perlu malu sangat ni? Eh? Ha, macam tu Okay, I need to buang this <laughs> Okay, dia cakap okay, the, the, the first one, dia cakap Always thinking before speaking It's not Yeah, betul Always silent They're just, talk, they're just taking time to acknowledge their thoughts ha, I think because of tu jugalah People like us or uh, and And some other people Out there listening um, Kita orang yang malu ni It's not that um, It's all about confidence It's just that Sometimes we are Confident people It's just that We tend to think Way too much Before doing things Especially in talking Betul Jadi, kan, Kita nak bercakap pun Kita fikir dua-dua kali Tapi sebenarnya boleh je lepas Ya yeah. Kau cakap apa dia Ya yeah, lah tu Betul lah tu Tiba kan Tak confident Okay Proceed <laughs> Lagi And then macam, okay, okay, I nak cakap, I nak cakap And then bila orang cakap, ah, cakap lah Diam je, <laughs> tak tahu nak cakap apa kan Ah, cakap lah <laughs> Sabar, sabar macam tu kan, macam oh my goodness You pernah kena macam tu Macam like, orang tahu you malu But then bila orang bagi chance macam, okay, uh, Fatih, do you have anything to say? Lepas you pun macam, sekejap, tadi kau nak cakap, lepas tu tiba hilang Kenapa? I <laughs> I rasa sebab terkejut dan macam benda tu randomly and dia blank <laughs> I selalu blank kalau benda mengejut ni Selalu macam tu lah Padahal dah ready dah kan macam Okay I know what to say Ya tu padahal dia beribu Dah beribu dah point nak share ni Okay Fatih it's your turn Okay doom hilang <laughs> Dia macam ma- oh, macam mana lah Dia benda hilang sikit Macam damn I hate myself Why am I like this <laughs> Oh ya, yeah, betul Okay, the second one dia kata How annoying it is to be called introverted I think shy people dengan introvert ni Memang um, like best friends lah Because, Okay, I think by now um, To those yang, yang listening to our podcast You can tell by my voice and our conversation uh, I'm an introverted kind of person I, I like to be alone sometimes So, um To me, interacting to people is a hassle Not because I don't like talking to people I do, I do enjoy It's just that macam I need my me time I need some alone time for myself With my my laptop, my my music My my funny videos on YouTube But yeah, that's the life of an introvert Kalau you, Fatih? I rasa I 50-50 kot But I think I'm more to introvert Sebab I perasan I jenis yang macam every time I akan pergi ke tempat baru ke I akan cuba something yang baru or jumpa orang yang baru ke I akan jadi macam you know macam perasaan yang uncomfortable yang macam tak selesa, resah, gelisah which is we call as anxiety kan okay? So macam I akan rasa macam benda tu and then benda tu lah yang bila I sampai ke Any kind of place yang baru Yang I tak pernah pergi I akan jadi The one yang very passive Passive yang macam Sampai orang yang kena Tegur I dulu I jenis yang macam tu ha. oh, Kalau Kalau you ingat Masa yang I introduce myself In class kan Masa class Di main ha. 
Even I I sendiri pun tak tahu macam mana I punya karakter. <laughs> I kan. I dia macam ha? aku macam mana lah sebenarnya macam tapi betul. Tapi bila macam kita dah selesa dengan that kind of environment semua. So lama-lama benda tu kita dah tak jadi introvert lah. Orang semua dah kenal kita sendiri macam mana kan. Okay. Okay. It all it's all I mean, it all goes down to what makes us um, selesa dengan diri kita betul. Macam ah ya sebab sebabnya I pun rasa macam sometimes I tak rasa you saja tau. I rasa everyone in um, yang ada dekat muka bumi <laughs> dan dia macam perlukan me time dia orang uh-huh. sendiri tau. Sebab apa macam ada masa macam bila dah terlalu bersukaria sangat kan Kita macam need time to muhasabah diri kan Muhasabah tu muhasabah Muhasabah, muhasabah <laughs> yes <laughs> Ya yeah, betul 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 Ya yeah, betul lah I rasa everyone needs me time actually uh, Betul I mean there's hmm. there's no harm pun kan uh, For you to say macam Ya yeah, betul you, Let's say you tengah lepak dengan your friends Dekat um, shopping mall ke whatever and then And then you said today, uh, can I be alone? Because I just, I just need to be alone. Eh? I think, I think that's the kind mm-hmm. of mindset we need to change juga lah. Because I don't know, um, introvert or not, people, people, if they feel uncomfortable, it's okay to walk off. But so just, just do it respectfully and kindly lah. Jangan macam tiba-tiba ghosted people macam ah, cakap dulu ah, tak ada lah. Just as it, yeah, too. Ada cara dia. Semua benda ada cara dia yang betul. Ah uh-uh, betul. Okay, the next point. Um, apa dia? Nak sam- nak, nak tambah. Hmm, tak apa, I dah lupa. Ah, uh, ni sebab malu ke sebab apa? Dia bukan sebab malu. Uh. Dia macam like tiba-tiba. <laughs> <laughs> Tapi sebenarnya tak malu pun. Ini macam ada point dekat introvert punya part ni. Oh ya, yeah. I dah ingat. I macam mana sebenarnya I nak cakap. Sebenarnya walaupun tak kisahlah orang tu introvert ke extrovert ke. So sebenarnya everyone ni kita sesatu sama lain ni perlu respect mm-hmm. each other punya like, macam pendirian ni tau. Sebab everyone ada uh, prinsip dia sendiri. Lah. Macam kalau Ya yeah, betul. Kalau orang tu dah pemalunya ya Tuhan. Takkanlah <laughs> Takkanlah kita nak pasti yeah, dia Ya betul yeah. <laughs> Untuk macam mana Untuk ubah diri dia demi kita kan Ah, uh, That that brings uh, to the next so point actually tak. The next uh, uh, Oh really? Cakap, cakap okay. uh, the next point says Cringing at words speak up Faham tak maksud tu? Macam so, uh, Macam, macam yeah. uh, you, Okay you sedar diri you You seorang yang malu And you try yourself your hardest to introduce yourself. Let's say in the class, kan, you try to introduce yourself. And then someone said, "Hey, check out quite sikit lah." Ataupun, "Hey, speak up." Okay, I personally, eh, I pernah kena mesti banyak kali lah. Eh, 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 it's true. I, I do feel cringe. Macam tu. What the fuck are you say? <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best here. Don't, don't push me. Don't push me. Okay. What the fuck? Perasaan tu akan macam Daripada kita nak bercakap Kita ada point nak bercakap Nak introduce Terus macam ah, Betul ah, Betul aku duduk <laughs> You know what I'm gonna sit down And be quiet lah Macam You know what Tak apalah <laughs> Betul 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 Oh my god Okay ah, then cakap, Okay uh, It kind of It kind of says like this Ada cakap You live through this scene What feels like a thousand times You're giving up presentation in class when some commenter from the back of the room pipes up. Can you talk a little louder? It's a shy person worst nightmare. No matter how many times it happens. <laughs> I want to be you, though. I'm like, God damn. I every time, uh, especially lah, like, especially time presentation, I would myself like, talk to myself. Check out, okay, Zafran, you got this. Well, it's just your friends. You're like talking to your friends, but you're not mama, whatever. It's okay. And then bila present depan korang pun Orang yang dah kenal I macam mm, uh, 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 Suara dah, 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 dah <laughs> Suara dah crack dah semua. Dia dah shaggy I macam apa tu can, can I can I move on from this But, uh, but then yeah. kita tak boleh tak nak ubah so, diri kita lah Like you said kan We cannot push other people And we can't push ourselves To to overcome certain fears Or certain obstacles 
But it's it's funny lah to think that macam I can relate to that lah. People when people say, can you speak louder? Man, I'm trying my best. <laughs> okay, next next point. Okay, ni dia cakap. Okay, ini pun selalu kena lah. The, the next point says be more outgoing. Is that something you can easily pick up and you don't really want to? Betul lah. Bila if you ask yourself, are you are you an outgoing person? No. Really? <coughs> I'm not. Why 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 so? Sebab dia macam every macam the first point kot Macam sebelum apa-apa macam kena fikir ah, yes. <laughs> Kan kita tak boleh <laughs> Tak boleh lah ah, Betul-betul Because okay in the article they says like this Telling a shy person to just do it or be more outgoing Is it going to help? In fact it may do just the opposite <laughs> Yeah betul Macam boleh ke buat macam ni? Tak boleh <laughs> Pas tu dia suruh macam tak jadilah. Tak apalah. Next time next time. Macam ha. Macam yang I said macam I malu nak drive depan korang because I rasa orang akan judge mm-hmm. I driving. So benda tu disebabkan benda tu I rasa tak confident untuk so, drive jad- juga. Terus tak jadi dah. Ha. <laughs> terus tak jadi apa. <laughs> orang lain lah dulu. Ha 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 ya ha. I have cut them, betul tu macam bila, bila tengok balik ni kan and then they reflect Reflect to our lives and macam Why am I like this? Uh, and then, we, okay if uh, Good enough for us um, and other people also We try our best to overcome this problem What can we do to make things better? What can we do to make ourselves feel better In in times like this kan macam It's macam bila kita cakap dengan orang kan People would say macam Eh hey, bro come on lah It's not that hard pun It's You just you just need to talk tu You just cakap je lah dengan orang tu kan But yeah the The, the value of being malu tu To us is Benda yang sangat-sangat Jangan cakap restrict us from doing things Dengan nak kena fikir ni lagi Nak nak overcome orang punya mindset Where oh budak ni macam-macam ni It's, it's hard on us actually Okay, betul 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 I rasa macam I suka topik ni sebab Dia boleh relate kan dengan One of the kids Yang tinggal dekat oh, sebelah okay. rumah I tau Selalu Budak-budak dia jarang ada oh, rasa malu kan yes, Dia macam Budak-budak especially lah nak, nak freely macam nak approach orang Macam nak pergi nyendeng-nyendeng Dengan senang lenang ni tak kira lah orang mm-hmm. sebaik ke tak kan Tapi This one kid dia sangat malu sampai every time macam try Last last week kot tak silap I I bagi dia birthday present Tapi bukan dia yang ambil Love. Tapi dia yang ambil sebab dia malu sangat I don't know why <laughs> Yeah I think I can relate to that kid juga though masa kecil-kecil I have I have this one memory yang Yang kalau macam if anything That people ask me to do I would ask my father or mother to buatkan tau <laughs> Macam ma boleh ambil kan tak buat kan tak macam tu I macam I cannot oh my goodness god damn kenapa I macam ni lah okay lah <laughs> okay lah okay, okay. We, we're moving on to the next the next point dia cakap knowing you knowing you would yeah. be a great leader but having to work harder prove it dia kata quiet individuals often have to make twice the effort in order to stand up particularly in the works in the workplace uh, Ah betul. I rasa ini I. Kita pernah experience benda ni masa tengah kerja? Um, I rasa um, even sekarang pun macam like I macam nak approach my ideas tapi I macam hmm hmm <laughs> ke? <laughs> ha boleh pakai ke tak padahal kan? I rasa macam mm-hmm. in my brain ada banyak ribu tapi I macam tak boleh nak keluar tapi sebab I rasa orang punya opinion and orang punya ideas uh. lebih bagus daripada I so I rasa macam mengecilkan uh, diri uh, uh, I betul. tau macam betul lah tu point ni dia orang punya ideas lebih bagus ha, dia orang punya ideas lebih bagus so macam why not kau letak di tepi kau follow je dia orang uh, uh. 
That's a pros and cons. I rasa macam ada pros and cons juga tau. Like macam you can share ideas and then macam sebab everyone ada opinion dia tau. Macam kita tak ada hak untuk menyuarakan ideas kita bila kita malu. Itulah rugi orang malu oh, tau I rasa. Betul. They have good sebenarnya. points to share but then because of dia punya insecurities, dia rasa macam tak perlu, tak penting pada orang lain. Tapi to us, penting sebenarnya kita nak tahu pendapat you kan uh, so bila dia cakap mm-hmm, apa betul. ni uh, for for people who are shy it, it's hard to them because they have to put the extra effort to overcome the fear first untuk overcome rasa malu tu dulu yeah. baru nak bagi point hmm betul tapi jenis i kalau jenis i i jenis yang macam i akan bagi tahu orang yang terdekat macam i tak bagi tahu uh, macam Terus dalam satu group mate tu tau I akan macam Hmm Boleh tak kalau macam ni Ha I akan tanya orang punya opinion dulu Macam mana pun Benda ni dia relatekan dengan Yang the first point tadi tu tau Dia macam fikir dulu sebelum cakap And dia fikir hmm. dulu sebelum buat Betul lah uh, Dek uh, Orang yang malu ni is, Apa ni uh, Basically Deep thinkers lah Dia orang Orang yang overthinking Dia orang Spend their time Most of the time Thinking a lot Betul betul okey. You ada apa apa nak tambah ke? Ada ke ada next point, point. je. <laughs> okey, dia kata favoring the sidelines over the spotlight. Maksudnya if there's a light shining on you, you're you're the center of the story or whatever, you tend to go out from the spotlight. You don't like to be in the center of the station. It says right here while a, while a wallflower attitude can often be frowned upon, there are some benefits to it, especially in the work in the workplace. Dia macam Dia nak highlight orang yang um, Apa dia panggil ni e- Egocentric dan narcissistic Versus orang yang The opposite of that Orang yang on the side yang Doesn't like to be in the in the center of attention mm-hmm. I mean that's no wrong pun Kalau orang tu nak jadi narcissistic or egoistic Because to me in my opinion mm-hmm. Dia boost the person's confidence dia punya self esteem because dia ada that drive to make things his way his eh apa ni dengan cara dia ego ni ada baik ni but most of the time tak baik pun because yelah you're not open up to others eh mm-hmm, betul ha <laughs> <laughs> ada apa nak tambah tak ada. Tak ada, tak ada. Okay, uh, I think this is the last one. Dia kata, everyone thinking your shyness is an issue. But you know it, but you know it's not. Dia cakap, shyness just like any other personality trait has its pluses and minuses. The key is to harness what makes you more reserved and use it to your advantage. Uh, macam tu. Everything is everyone's assuming shyness is a Betul? problem. Betul. Macam sekarang ni lah. The, the reason why... Uh, We're discussing this on a podcast is because we thought shyness was the problem, but actually, we never thought of the advantages it brings us. Like, okay, for instance, kita me satu situasi lah where people who are shy they tend to be much more reserved, much more quiet, and much more how do I say, uh, calculative in terms of their opinions and so on. So let's say in that in that scene mm-hmm. you tengah discuss dengan kawan-kawan you and turns out it work, it, it turns to a misunderstanding where diorang dah gaduh. Ha oh, macam tu. You you're the one yang rasa malu, rasa takut. You have to think things slowly and deeply. You put macam uh, psychoanalyze the situation dah. Betul lah you you macam okey jap jap jap. Mm-hmm. Biar diorang gaduh dulu. <laughs> Tapi I nak analyze, I nak observe apa problem <laughs> this man. Because, yelah kalau orang tu dia cepat koyak ke, dia cepat marah kan We tend to overlook dengan kemarahan dia tu mm-hmm. Sometimes benda petty pun, benda biasa je, benda kecil Tapi orang tu dah marah uh, What what say you? Kalau you, uh, what do you think are the advantages of being the shy person in the group or being the shy person in general? Macam yang Aisyah cakap tadi <coughs> Pros dia sebab orang tak boleh nak dengar Kita punya opinion And itu akan jadi satu kerugian And kalau 
Ha, ah, ya. Yeah. Contoh kalau macam in terms of kalau pergaduhan tu, kalau kita still rasa malu, the problem tu takkan solve sebenarnya. Sebab yang malu ni dia tak akan, to be honest, I macam fikir tau kadang-kadang orang yang malu ni dia ada tak macam any kind of macam pemikiran yang untuk ada solution for everything yang happen dekat surrounding dia. Macam contoh kan, macam bergaduh. Orang bergaduh, kau malu. Tapi takkan ah, kau nak betul. tengok orang tu gaduh je kan? Macam akan buang rasa malu tu untuk solve the problem kan? Bukannya macam like bintangkan je ke tak kan? Tak mungkin lah kan? Ha, macam tu. So, macam benda tu adalah macam benda yang macam tak bagus jugalah untuk orang malu to stay that malu bila dalam keadaan keadaan yang macam tu. Dia macam malu tu bertempat lah sebenarnya. Kalau orang tengah bergaduh tu, pandai-pandai lah berhenti. Ha, ha, betul, betul. Ha. <laughs> betul eh, macam more. there are more pressing matters at hand and you choose to be malu at the time. Come on, tolong boleh lah. <laughs> Ya, yeah, tu kau tak berbahan. Boleh tak? Ya? Tu, tu, tu tak sebenar. Boleh you tak? Can you not? Ya, yeah, oh my goodness. But then macam, ni lah, benda ni um, like any other personality personality traits, uh, it takes time for a person to actually overcome dia punya benda ni. So, even even for myself, oh, I, yeah. uh, I, I mean, I would say I'm a very shy person. I rarely talk to people unless people talk to me. But when but when people talk to me then okay. Mm. Malu tu pun terus hilang. It's just that it's it's the fact that Mm-mm. I yang kena move the first move I'm going to uh, it's the, it's me making the first move tu yang buat I rasa macam wait am I am I really that shy or am I really afraid to talk to people? Because bila fikir balik, I'm not really that afraid to talk to people. I can talk to people very confidently. It's just that I don't feel comfortable doing it. Uh, I can talk, but I feel I choose not. Ah, uh, betul. Itu. Hmm, betul. I can talk, but I don't uh, think people satu. can accept my opinion. Betul. That's. Uh-huh. Kalau that macam tu dah lah. dah fall under overthinking dah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> That would be another topic kot Overthinking What makes other people What makes people overthink Is it a nice way Is it a bad thing Okay Yeah Okay sekejap uh, For you um, After kita dah discuss Banyak-banyak benda ni eh, What do you Malu ni baik ke Tak baik Macam Baik ni um, To me uh, Like you said lah It It depends on the situation. If the situation is intense, perlukan external force untuk tolong ke ataupun membantu, then you shouldn't be rasa malu pun. Okay, especially uh, intense situation tengah marah lah especially. You dah analyse the situation. You know what to do. But the party tengah marah. So you should buang rasa malu tu and tolong sepatutnya. But let's say uh, things like open up, opening up to new things kan I would say it's okay to feel shy at first It's um, People always say like this lah If you try to do something new And you realize the problem You you admit the problem first Okay for for this instance I rasa malu actually nak start up my podcast because Uh, nasib baik ada orang tegur cakap oh, Your voice sounds, sounded nervous You should try to be more outgoing, outspoken I thought I am because When we're talking face to face I'm an outgoing person I don't feel shy But it it, it, hit me, it hits me because mm-hmm. Benda ni benda baru ha? Itu yang I sedar So the process is You know you're a shy person You you evaluate the, the scenario Let's say for this instant uh, Making out a podcast or talking to people You admit, okay, I am shy. I'm trying my best to speak to that person, and I'm going to tone it down, tone it down a bit. So, okay, I boleh rasa malu, but instead of 100% rasa malu, why not I try 50% rasa malu? So that I don't, I macam you check up first first lah. Mm-hmm. I don't, you don't look like someone yang macam tak betul, overconfident. Uh, to me, to me lah, like any other friends that. That that uh, that advise me always trust the process lah. You evaluate the situation, you 
trust yourself admit the problem and come up with a solution to overcome that problem to me that's the solution in any situation tak kisahlah um, if it's personal problem with your friends or family ke yourself included you always analyze first tengok macam mana uh, what's the best option If, if it were you what would you add you nak tambah apa-apa tak tak sebab I rasa <laughs> yang I nak cakap you dah cakap ok lah <laughs> kot I think that ends uh, apa ha, nak tambah apa lagi <laughs> tak bukan tapi betul lah macam uh, I dah macam includekan some of the point pun masa dalam mm-hmm. kita punya perbincangan so, tadi kan yeah. ya yeah, I think dah kot macam macam dah uh-huh. dah menjelaskan lah apa yang patut kita buat apa yang kita tak patut buat apa yang bagusnya apa yang tak bagusnya pasal malu ni and dari uh-huh. mana dah tanya pasal malu ni I rasa pun nak men- menjawabkan sebab yelah sebab itu pun macam relate kan uh-huh. dengan diri kita sendiri kan dalam dengan benda yang dekat ni so I rasa macam To be honest, apa yang I, dah, I, I nak cakap, you dah cakap, mm-hmm. kita pun dah bincangkan Betul. tadi ha, Shyness ni pun ada banyak faktor yang lain sebenarnya It's a very big big topic juga uh, Sometimes it, orang tu malu because of the way he was brought up dengan family dia Family ajar dia macam ni, macam ni, apa semua So, dia pun rasa macam, okay, I need to do this, this and that, this and that And at the end of the day, sebenarnya, dia tak buat benda tu because dia duk PK pasal benda tu ha. so mungkin daripada situ dia dah develop satu uh, karakteristik malu bukan sebab apa ya, just that dia PK dia PK pasal benda lain yeah. <laughs> dia sebab apa-apa pun dia balik kepada point yeah, yang sebetul. pertama tadi tu point, point pertama tu yang... memang <laughs> memang straight away uh, <laughs> straight yeah. away the main cause the main core of this personality trait shyness shy people tends to overthink yeah, would... way too much actually it's it, it's a problem it's yeah, not really a problem yeah. i wouldn't say a problem it's it's a it's a personality trait of a shy person to overthink because that's how they do that's how they feel so it's okay yeah mm, it's never okay. wrong point <laughs> Ya, yeah, malu ni tak salah, tak, tak salah. salah nak malu ni tak salah Cuma malu. Cuma itulah, ya yeah, kita, kita, kita yang rasa bersalah okay. Ya yeah, betul, malu tu biar bertempat <laughs> Jangan orang gaduh, still rasa malu lagi nak peta- Apa macam nak stopkan dia pergaduhan ke apa ke Macam apa-apa pun kena uh-huh, make sense I, 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 Dia macam to be honest, I rasa whatever we feel pun Kita kena ada rasa make sense tu tau Make sense tu important for every single thing so, Macam okay make sense lah macam Okay betul lah macam kau malu lah sebenarnya kan Okay make sense, kena fikir make sense ni macam Kalau tak benda ni takkan jadi untuk kau sebenarnya Sampai bila nak malu macam tu tau Dia macam fikir the other sides untuk build up our self hmm. as true, 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 true Okay, let's wrap this yeah. thing up um, <laughs> I think that's all for today uh, on our topic shyness. What makes us shy? So, uh, thank you for having us. Thank, thank you for having. Thank you for. Oh my goodness! What am I saying? Thank you for having you here. I would like to thank you for having you here, Fatih Nur Ain. Do you have anything to say? And. Um, Betul. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Thanks for having me and discussing mm-hmm. about this topic. No worries, no worries. Uh, Thank be, uh, you. To those who's listening, be sure to visit Fatih Nur, Fatih Nur Ain's podcast on Anchor FM. And yeah, this is all. This is Zafran from The Voice signing off. See you when I see you. Good.